and what if the film you eagerly anticipated turned out to be a colossal letdown. And imagine growing up, adoring a beloved franchise, only to see it stumble when given a long chance to shun. For many fans, this scenario played out with Terminator Salvation. And as a child of the vibrant 80s, the original Terminator films were more than just movies. They ignited my passion for action and science fiction. The iconic image of Arnold Schwarzenegger in his leather jacket and sunglasses, coolly declaring, I'll be back, solidified my admiration for the series. This thrilling world portrayed a battle between humans and machines, captivating my youthful imagination. Uh, by the time I reached my teenage years, I was completely immersed in the Terminator saga. The idea of witnessing a harrowing future led by John Connor was thrilling. When Terminator Salvation was announced, my excitement peaked. Not only was Christian Bale stepping into the role of John Connor, but the trailers hinted at a dark, post-apocalyptic landscape and a mystic of the backdrop I had come to long for. Yet the anticipated adventure soon transformed into disappointment. Despite its promising elements and well-regarded cast, Terminator Salvation couldn't quite deliver. The storytellers aimed high but fell into a trap of fragmented narrative threads, leaving the plot scattered and characters underdeveloped. The pacing felt rushed, and I found it difficult to connect with the story unfolding on screen. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying this exploration of cinematic highs and lows. Uh, it really helps us to bring more content your way. Um, and the Bale's portrayal of John Connor was intense, yet it seemed the lack the depth needed to bring the character to life authentically. Instead of captivating audiences, Connor felt overshadowed by a new character, Marcus, whose narrative arc diverted attention from the film's essential heart. The villain Skynet lost its former menacing edge and instead felt like a faceless force unleashing wave after wave of indistinguishable machines upon our heroes the absence of a strong antagonist removed the tension that previous films had expertly maintained looking forward there's still hope for the franchise despite the disappointment of salvation the future holds promise announcements of new projects like terminator zero and Terminator 7, spearheaded by familiar names, hint at a resurrection of the storyline I've always cherished. Uh, future installments could delve deeper, exploring the emotional and psychological impacts of the ongoing war, thereby revitalizing what made the original films resonate. Uh, by leading with character development and heartfelt storytelling, there's potential to revisit the explosive narratives of John Connor's battle against the machines with renewed vigor. Uh, with, uh, so w what's the takeaway? Sometimes the films we are most excited about don't meet our expectations. But if they learn from past missteps, perhaps they can surprise us yet again. After all, why did the robot go on a diet? Because it had too many bites. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.